Today is December 24th. It's the 359th day of the year, and this is the On This Day podcast. When the First World War breaks out in the summer of 1914, German forces attack France by way of Belgium. They're repelled away from the heart of France, its capital city Paris, but the Germans resist the French defense in northeastern France, where both sides dig in for the long stalemate that is World War I. The Germans on one side and the French and British on the other side. Both build trench lines with no man's land in between along the western front. By the fall of 1914, they settle into a routine. The fighting continues, but little progress is made in those early months of the war. The British and French soldiers are at times casual and cordial with the German troops in the opposing trenches. At some points along the Western Front, there are brief truces to collect and bury the dead. In other areas where the trench lines are close enough to yell across the no-man's land, the soldiers share pleasantries from time to time, discussing the weather, or football, or even singing a song to each other. Superior officers on both sides of the no-man's land order an end to such behavior. However, the informal fraternization continues. On this day... Christmas Eve in 1914, more than 100,000 British and German soldiers observe an informal ceasefire along the Western Front, the Christmas Truce as it comes to be known. German soldiers light candles on Christmas trees, because that's what you used to do. The lights we string on Christmas trees, those used to be actual candles, which didn't always mix so well with the dried out Douglas fir, so kids don't try that at home. The Germans decorate their Christmas trees and sing Christmas carols, and the British sing carols in response. And some of them sing carols together, such as the German Christmas song, Silent Night. The lyrics for Silent Night are written a hundred years earlier in 1816 by Father Joseph Moore, the priest at St. Nicholas's Parish Church in Obendorf by Salzburg, Austria. In 1818, he asks schoolmaster and organist Franz Gruber to set the words to music. Together, they perform Silent Night for the first time at the evening mass on this day in 1818 at St. Nicholas's in Oberndorf. Moore's German lyrics for the song that in German is called Stille Nacht are translated into English in 1859 by Father John Young at Trinity Church in New York City. And since then, Silent Night is a song Christians the world over sing on Christmas Eve to celebrate the birth of Jesus. So it is a song the British and German soldiers in the trenches along the Western Front are both familiar with and can sing together. Before long, soldiers from either side cross the no man's land and exchange gifts, food, cigarettes, and buttons, and they meet in the middle of the no man's land shake hands, chat, they play football, and share stories of home. The festivities continue into the next day, Christmas Day, a holiday celebrated by both sides in the conflict. More games are played, more black bread and biscuits are shared, and the British and the Germans take advantage of the ceasefire to bury the dead. In a few spots along the Western Front, the Christmas truce lasts until the New Year, But in most areas, the Christmas truce that begins on this day and extends through Christmas Day ends the day after that, with shots fired and a return to business as usual. There are sporadic ceasefires the following year, 1915, but by 1916, the conflict has become so brutal and so torturous with the introduction of chemical warfare that neither side feels the spirit that inspires the Christmas truce of World War I that begins on this day in 1914. There are seven days left in the year. On This Day is produced by me, Dave Schultz. Thank you very much for listening. If you're following along with the 10 days of On This Day podcast, check out Facebook forward slash On This Day podcast or Twitter at On This Day pod. Again, that's at On This Day P-O-D for a link to the August 29th episode on Katrina. And if you're still listening, 
Don't forget to leave out a plate of cookies and some scotch for Santa tonight. Talk to you tomorrow.